Finally, they found a way to slow down baseball. <laughs> the truth is, the mannequin challenge was invented by Zach Morris at Bayside High in 1989. There you are, Zach. I've been looking all over for I... you. Do you. Time out! <laughs> yeah, this is horrible. You millennials think you can steal everything. If only you kids put one-tenth this amount of effort into your SAT prep. It's not just for young people. When old-ass Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is doing it, you know the trend is about to die. <laughs> Eating Papa John's, you pieces of shit. Is that turbulence or Parkinson's, you geriatric shit? No one can outdo my staff when it comes to standing around doing nothing. Fresh girl. <laughs> oh no, I know what you're thinking. He made eating a tablespoon of cinnamon look easy. <laughs> the internet is full of challenges, and I was told they're all impossible. <laughs> impossible? That's not a word I'm familiar with. <laughs> Hi, I'm about to do the cinnamon challenge and the saltine cracker challenge, all in under one minute while on salvia. And if there's time, I'm also gonna karate chop 100 coconuts. 60 seconds on the clock, but first, I need to take a hit of my salvia. You wanna hold that in for about 20 seconds or until your eyes start to vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be funny. Time to get into swimsuit shape. And there's no better way to do that than by eating one pound of rich, creamy, unsalted butter. Here you go, folks. One pound of grade double-A butter. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Three, two, two one. Oh! <laughs> Come on, eat it. Oh, yeah. The first half pound is always the hardest. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Do it again, do it again. <laughs> The best way to check if your baby is lactose intolerant, the cheese challenge. Or can I do the cheese challenge? 
<laughs> I would never let a baby anywhere near that processed crap. I don't even think they sell craft singles at Air One. But I'm contractually obligated to try every internet challenge. Tell me when. Just say when. I'm down to the Rhine here, kid. Ow! I'm starting my own challenge where I run around liberal towns and vaccinate children. It's called Responsible Parenting Challenge. Hi, my name is Ryan and I tell everyone I play football but I'm just the kicker, huh? My name's Callie and I'll f a bitch up, huh? My name is Brian and I wear long socks to school so nobody can see my cankles. Oh. Hi, my name is Kenny. I think I'm the sh and get bitches because I lost weight. <laughs> my name's John Dominic and my dad will sue you. <laughs> my name is Cameron and I still have the Android. <laughs> my name's Addison and I swear I'm the most popular girl at Newsome. <laughs> my name is Tyree and I wear an Iron Maiden shirt as a fashion statement. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Coy, and I wear ugly shirts to take the focus off of my eyebrows. <laughs> Everything you millennials do is god awful. But then you come up with something like this and totally redeem yourselves. The huh challenge is where high school kids mock their friends to their face and tack on a condescending huh. And since there's no place more childish than this office, what better way for you to get to know the people who work for me? Hi, my name is Barry, and the only thing I actually protect is this bowl of candy on my desk. Hi, my name is Carrie, and my husband married me to get a green card. Hi, my name is Mari, and no one knows if I'm 15 or 36. My name is Nate, and I like to vape in the parking lot, even though I had a heart attack four months ago. Uh... <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'll never be as good at my job as Eric, the office alcoholic. <laughs> Hi, my name is Long-Haired Guy, whose office is in the kitchen, and my boss doesn't know who I am, even though I've worked here for eight years. Hi, my name is Rick, and whenever I'm nice to anyone on the staff, it just makes them feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bill, and I boss people around at work because my wife has to tie my shoes for me every morning since my back injury, and I feel emasculated at home. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ava, but I spell it with an E instead of an A because I'm a dog and dogs can't spell. Hi, my name is Alex and my parents are dead. Hi, my name is Daniel and I look so young for my age. Hey, show me your step back, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, ball is light, bro. What? Hey, show me, hey, show me your step back, bro. Oh. 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 Hey, ball is light. Yeah. Show me your step back, man. F it up. Oh. Ah. Almost hit the tail. Ball is light. Absolutely. Oh, show me your step back. <laughs> ball is light, bro. Hey, show me your step back, bro. Oh my God, where you get the bottle from? Ah. Ah. Ball is light, bro. Hey, bro. Hell yeah. Hey, man, show me your step back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, hey, bro. Ball is light, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, show me your step back, bro. Oh my god. Hey, ball is light, bro. Ball is... Hey, show me your step back, bro. Oh my god. Some of those kids don't know a step back from a fadeaway. SMDH. <laughs> that was the step back challenge. Oddly popular, I'm told. Basketball is a team sport. If you ask me, a lot of hero ball was being played in that urban school. <laughs> I'd like
like to take this craze to one of our many fine, predominantly white <laughs> Beverly Hills prep schools. Excuse me, do you enjoy the sport of basketball? Uh, yeah, it's okay, I guess. Show me you're taking a charge. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Excuse me, do you enjoy the sport of basketball? I like watching the playoffs. Show me your intentional foul. Oh, 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 yeah! Excuse me, do you enjoy the sport of basketball? Yeah, I can take it or leave it. Show me your two-handed bounce pass. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Excuse me, do you enjoy the sport of basketball? Not really, to be honest. Show me you're sitting on the bench. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Excuse me, do you enjoy the sport of basketball? I prefer tennis. Show me your hustle. Oh, 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 there it is! Oh, there it is! Oh, you can't get the ball in bounds! Oh, you can't get it! Oh. walked right off that stage and straight into the hearts and panties of every girl in that high school. <laughs> that is a video that started the water bottle flip challenge revolution, I think. We do very little research. <laughs> That's where you flip a half empty water bottle and everyone loses their minds when it lands perfectly. It's actually incredibly easy, but thankfully the internet is made up of idiots. Do you have any special talent? <laughs> Boring! It's not a challenge if everyone can do it. I'm not trying to play the game. I'm trying to change it forever. It is recording now. Saddest world record I've ever seen. 100 beer cans in 32 seconds. Someone's an alcoholic. To be the best, you have to beat the best. And for almost a decade, I've sat atop that throne. So if you think I'm scared of a middle-aged man river dancing on some recyclables, you don't know jack about diddly. They call me Dan Dan the Can Man. They say no one can slam a can the way Dan Dan the Can Man can. Get ready to stick your head in doo-doo because it's time for Nana Nana Boo Boo. Stick your head and doo-doo. I'd take a knee, but I'm wearing a snowboard. Ah! Oh! 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 
You're a Fortnite kid now. <laughs> the biggest threat to suburban white teens in this country is opioids. Close second, trampolines. <laughs> someone just dared him to rim himself. I admire him for going for it. Well, you bitch-ass parents aren't gonna like to hear this, but I think he would have been fine if the net wasn't there. I've invented the safest way to enjoy the deadly double bounce. You can do it anywhere except on a trampoline. The only requirement is that you respect the double BC by saying boing. Double BC! Boing! Double BC! Boing! Double BC! Boing! So, how's everything taped? Double BC! Boing! 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 <laughs> Double BC! Boing! <laughs> Another day, another meaningless Instagram trend. It's the Flaunt Your Wealth Challenge, where obnoxious trust funders post pics of themselves pretending to have fallen with all their valuable belongings strewn about. <laughs> Must I remind my flock that flaunting your wealth is wicked? <laughs> Looks like she had sex with Jay Leno and he gave her the boot. <laughs> Sadly, I'm frugal and very coordinated, so it was extremely difficult to capture this shot. <laughs> this wasn't staged. I was humbly stepping off the city bus when I slipped in my Planned Parenthood fanny pack full of deviled eggs went everywhere. I always have deviled eggs on me. Good source of protein and they keep. Dodgers hat's not mine. Somebody else must have thrown that away last week. Probably Kershaw. smiling at. Nothing good has happened in seven months. The guy with Don Jr. cocaine eyes is Barack, and he Instagrams himself cooking without looking. Nothing better than a heavy Turkish dish after the chef I fucks you. How does he still have fingers? Not to brag, but I'm the one who invented looking straight into the camera back when I was the first person to play people's home movies on TV. Look what you made me do, no-look Turkish chef. 
half of California is burnt. 